Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT e, uh, EPS LS XB Aladocious. Um, it's a 2023 Kawasaki Mule Pro. It's got the it's the polycarbonate windshield. It's got the three vents built into it. Uh, I also had the um, street legal package put on. That's the uh, turn signals, side mirrors, got the rear view mirror, and whatever else it needs. Um, it's a great view, awesome. I also uh, I also got I picked up a uh, a waterproof backup camera system so uh, the camera's wireless and um, here's the display right here um, I got this one with the uh, winch oh here's the horn so I got the horn right there I also got it with the winch and it has 4x4 uh, four four. it also has a uh, differential lock locking differential and I got my uh, my Garmin GPS in here I just got to hook up another uh, accessory cigarette lighter port whatever uh, this thing is a blast you, you can hear how loud it is in here I've got all of the uh, clear windows rolled down and uh, it's not really all that loud, but then again, I have nothing to compare it to because this is the first recreational vehicle or anything that I've ever owned. So I have nothing to go by as far as any kind of comparison. Um, Dollar General has these uh, solar motion sensor lights or whatever. Uh, it works great. The solar panel sticks out the front so I can pick up some uh, energy from the sun. And I got myself an interior light at nighttime when I need to get in here. Um, this thing is a blast. It really is. I, uh, I'm still sort of, kind of, at the end of the break-in period, I've already had the uh, break-in service done, which is 20 hours or 120 miles, whichever comes first, which is kind of stupid because in 10 hours, uh, <laughs> you're gonna, or 20 hours, you're, you're gonna rack up way more than 120 miles. Um, so anyway, got that done. And uh, I had it done at the dealer. This thing will, she will get up to 50 miles per hour. And uh, in fact, I'll show you here in just a sec. I'm coming out to the uh, main highway. There's somebody else. How you doing? There you go. See, look, I'm not the only one around here. Uh, so now let's get back on the highway here to the house.
started out on trails uh, across the way, you know, up where there's another large hill over there on the other side of the highway. And she, I mean, she really handles it well. I mean, this thing, it's not, I didn't want something to go fast in, like, you know, those sporty ones. Kawasaki Terex. I wanted something that had pulling power, um, something that will go at a decent clip, but it will uh, it will definitely get me through any kind of issues that I might run into out there in the wilderness. Because we're probably going to be using this to go do some exploring. Uh, nearby, there's a uh, there's actually a, a gi ginormous wilderness uh, preservation, and they have trailheads and whatnot. So we intend to take her over there. Um, I bought a um, I bought a new aluminum all aluminum trailer. Um, I, I figured it was worthwhile. Yeah, to get to get a nice trailer, so I bought a new trailer for it. Uh, the trailer I think is uh, six by twelve, and it's got the ramp in the back, and you know all that stuff. Um, so right now I'm in the process of finishing up uh, making this one street legal here in West Virginia. So all I have left to do is go down to motor vehicles and get a plate. Uh, for the Kawasaki, for the mule, and she'll be uh, completely street legal. I don't, uh, I don't intend to uh, take it out on the streets too much. You know, I just wanted to have it so in case I want to run down to, you know, like Dollar General or go down to the post office or, you know, there's a little uh, family-owned country store. There's some of. Uh, Frank's cows, hello cows. Uh, so you know, I I don't even want it to be able to go down to you know like little local stops. So I'm not going to drive this thing all over the friggin' place. It's too dangerous. Uh, you got people out there. You know, that's why I would never ride a motorcycle again. It's too friggin' dangerous. You know, people just are reckless, man. They don't give a shit about anybody but themselves, and they just don't care. So at any rate. Um, this is uh, th this is an awesome vehicle. Pricey, yeah, you know, with the add-ons, you know, yeah, it, it was, you know, it hurt. But I wanted something brand new, and I wanted something that's going to give me what I need. Um, I'm still going to be taking it to the dealer probably the end of summer and have a... Um, have a heater uh, put into it, and I'm probably going to have a snow plow uh, put onto it. And okay, yeah, we got the new roof on the house, which is nice. Nice new metal roof. Um, so you know, it, it it does exactly what I need it to do for me, and uh, you know that's all that really matters at this point. So you know. This thing is really, really awesome. I'll just do a quick walk around for you and then I'll wrap up this video. So I figured I'd show you what she does in transit. And you know, she can do, she can get up to good speed. She's got back seat right here, which will hold three, I guess, average size adults uh, or a couple of dogs. The, um, the bed in the back, that uh, that actually expands, so I can uh, flip up this back seat right here. Just flip it up, and then pull a couple of uh, you know, pull a couple of handles or whatever. Disconnect a couple of things, and then slide this seat back forward, and that will expand this right here. You can see this. This is an accordion fold, so that'll 
expand forward and it basically doubles the size of the bed uh we got the uh we got the a arm guards okay i made sure that i had those put on and uh i had them put on by the dealer i've got my uh two inch ball and you can see it's got the uh, factory tail lights there's the uh license plate thingy and um the sportsman's package is the soft uh, cover, black cover, and uh, you can see it's a it's a really nice machine, really nice. And we got the uh, A arm guards here in the front. There's the uh, brush guard. The outer lights are halogen. Uh, they go uh, high, low, and off. Uh, the inners are LEDs. Same thing, high, low, and off. There's the uh, winch, 4,500 pound, right there. Uh, I don't recognize the name, but it's, it works, works good. There's the little turn signal indicators in the front. Side mirror, um, real nice tires. Uh, it's got a 10.2 inch ground clearance. There's where the uh, gasoline goes. Uh, she gets pretty good gas mileage, you know? Uh, not bad. Uh, she gets uh, uh, getting about a couple hundred miles out of a tank, and I think the tank is only 7.9 gallons or something like that. So, pretty awesome. Uh, great vehicle. Uh, you can see here uh, Mule Pro FXT. EPS just means uh, electric power steering, LE means, I guess, a limited edition. I don't know. It's got a you know, just like the other videos out there on these things, you got uh, you got the little storage thing up here in the front. It's really not storage; it's uh, it's just access to coolant. You know, uh, that's really all it is. It's not used for storage. And uh, I think there is. I haven't had the. Uh, I haven't taken the seat up yet but i think there's two storage can you know two storage things under the seats here the sportsman package also comes with the uh, seat covers so uh amazing machine you got the uh, roll cage in here so great machine you also with the sportsman's package if you want to uh open up the bed to its full length or full whatever you still have this zip up back window here which is pretty cool so this is my uh the kawasaki mule pro and uh, uh i hope you like the video just give me a thumbs up and uh subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and y'all take care now have a good week